He's talking about Jesus here, and he says, though you have not seen him, you love him. How many of you would say tonight, even though you've never seen Jesus, you still love him? Amen? Okay, right? Come on. Let me ask it again. That was about, two thir- about a third of you. How many of you, though you've not, and, and nobody's seen him like they did during the days of uh, him walking on the planet, though you've not seen him yet, you still what? You love him. That's why we worship tonight. That's why we come and sing songs about him, and we honor him, and we praise him. We try to live a life that's pleasing him because we love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him. Have any believers here tonight? Yeah, got some believers here, okay? Even though you do not see him, you now believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are, what does that word say? You are, that's a present tense, it's an ongoing activity. If I say you are walking, that means that you're in the process of walking. You're moving somewhere. So it says you are, you are what? Receiving the end of your faith. What does it say now? The salvation of your what? Of your soul. Now, how are we created by God? Spirit, soul, and body. Now, it's extremely important that, that here, as Peter writes it, he described, he didn't talk about the salvation of your spirit, although that's important and that's very true. But here in this particular context, he talked about the salvation of your soul. See, our biggest problems in the world, all of your biggest problems have to do, generally speaking, with your soul issues. Anybody ever have a mind that gives you a problem? Does your mind ever bother you? Mine does, okay. How about your will? Do you ever make bad choices? You don't even know what choice to make, right? And so you try to do this, and am I doing the right thing? I don't know. And anybody made any bad choices? Don't raise your hand here. Okay, we've all made bad choices, right? And so in your emotions, anybody struggle with some, some difficult feelings sometimes, right? Sometimes your feelings are up and sometimes they're down. So mind, will, and emotions, that's your soul. And so when it comes to living on the planet Earth, much of what we do involves our souls. That when we interact with each other, we interact with each other on the basis of our souls. When I say I want to get to know you, I'm not talking about just... in in, in a spiritual sense or just a physical sense, but I want to know you. I want to know how you think. I want to know how how you process decisions, how you live your life. That's saying I want to get to know you. That's I want to understand how your soul functions.